Welcome back to TCM Summer Under the Stars and our night with Geraldine Chaplin, a newcomer to our annual festival. I'm Alicia Malone and tonight we're watching some of the films Chaplin made with the legendary Spanish director Carlos Saura. Chaplin was in a creative and personal relationship with Saura for many years during the 1960s and 70s and had appeared in nine of his movies. So let's watch a drama they made in 1973. It's Anna and the Wolves. For this film, Geraldine Chaplin was able to use her fluency in both Spanish and English, playing Anna, an English-speaking nanny who arrives at a remote house in Spain to take care of three children. The children belong to the lecherous Juan who lives at the estate with his family, his nervous wife Luchi, his ailing mother, his military-obsessed brother Jose, and his other brother Fernando who prefers to live in a cave. Anna does her best to help, but soon gets sucked into this dysfunctional family. Director Carla Saura was renowned for using allegory in his films to protest the then dictatorship of Spain. The country was controlled by the oppressive Francisco Franco. Censors at this time would not approve films if they were obviously political, so filmmakers like Saura had to cleverly sneak in their messages. Anna and the Wolves has been called one of his most critical, with this family standing in for the various factions and issues of early 1970s Spain, the military, religion and sex. For example, Jose with his collection of weaponry and uniforms is the military, the quiet Fernando hiding in the cave is the Catholic Church, the adulterous Juan represents the morally corrupt elite, and Anna is the foreign visitor who is at first perplexed and then shocked by what she sees. It is a disturbing film with another impressive performance by Geraldine Chaplin. So get ready, from 1973, here is Anna and the Wolves.